Hi, my name is Basti. Welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. And what you're seeing right behind me is the footprint of my soon-to-be mega base. Yes, I know, once again, this doesn't look extremely large, but remember, this thing will be taller than this tower. So, let's just say it's going to be pretty big. But hey, Basti, are we really doing mega base today? Well, no, I've got some other things planned. Actually, in fact, why don't you come with me? Right this way, good sir. Now you see, we've got this little thing up here called Bass Town. And Bass Town has some funny little things about it. Wait, is, there, is that a new cat? Hey, wait, no. Is that a new cat? Wait, this was, this isn't planned. This isn't planned. Cat, uh, I need to, I need to get some fish. Would you mind sticking around? While I go grab some fish. Oh, do you like fish, cat? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. This is kind of random. Uh, you know, yeah. I wasn't planning on getting a new cat exactly, but we are going to spend some time with the animals of this world. Because, well, you see, cat, I used to have a cat just like you. He lived on a cliffside, and his name was Grebo, and he was a really beautiful cat. Yeah, I know. And you see, we actually lost Grebo last episode, and that is why it's such a coincidence that you just showed up right here. And losing Grebo made me think that maybe we aren't spending enough time with our loved ones. You know, I've been so focused on building that I've been neglecting my little friends over here. Hey, come on. So. Why don't we today spend a little time with our friends? You know, Binky, Rincewind, Bacon and Ham, all the guys, you know? All the boys. Why don't we also find ourselves some more friends? Like this cat right here, which I'm gonna have to sit right there. So, today's episode, I want to go find myself some new friends. And we're probably gonna have to do this again because I'm not in 1.21 yet. And I've heard that there's some new cool friends in 1.21 that we're gonna have to go get. So, uh, we're gonna have to make do right now. We're gonna get some horses, probably. I love horses. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go grab myself some saddles. And let's go find ourselves some horses. Okay, so I've gathered some saddles. Got them right in this shulker box. Now, I'd like to teach you a trick for finding horses. It's quite simple. It goes like this. Stamp one. Find a place with horses. Yep, easy trick works every time. Anyways, I found horses. They're right here, using my one-step program. How to find horses. Now, all you need to do is tame horses. And that is also easy. You just walk up to a horse, say, I like you, horse. Look him right in the nostrils, and then, with an empty hand, ride him. Until he bucks you off. Or not. Yeah, like that. Come on, horse. I need you. Oh, look at that. It's that easy. And then you put a saddle on him and you've got yourself a companion for life. Wow, that's easy. But I don't really want to just find a horse, you know? I want a fast one. I want the fastest one. So, let's do some testing. Let's start breeding up some horses, taming them, and see if we can find a fast one. Because I want one that can jump high. This one does not. It is pretty fast though. I don't know how fast, but it's fast. I am going to spend some time with these horses, getting to know them, and see if we can't find some fast ones. Yeah. So I'll do that for a while now. All right, so I've got some horses, but now you're thinking, but Basti, how are you gonna test them all? Well, <clears throat> Welcome to Basti's Horse Training Facility, the top of the top and most advanced horse training facility there is. And in order to be able to sort the cream from the crop, we have a few tests. The first one is a jump test, which is highly advanced and super technical. And once a horse passes the jump test, we go straight on to our super state-of-the-art speed test, where the horse will run as fast as it can, and then we measure the time. And once a horse is tested and ready, it can rest up in our super luxurious horse stable, where they can await their final judgment. Yup, it's as easy as that. Finding a good horse won't be that hard. 
Look, we can even test on one of these guys. I got some horses in the stables already, but, you know, let's try this one. And let's see what we can do. So, this is the process, okay? First, we take on the dreaded jump test. Wow, this is gonna be a challenge. So, can it jump one block? Yes, it can jump one block, in fact. Can it jump two? Yes, easily. Three? Yep. Four? Yeah! But I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, not a five jumper. That is, uh, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's decent. My plan is to find one and can jump five and run really fast. I'm not sure how fast yet, but this one doesn't seem to be it. Oh, it's kind of fast. It's not the slowest horse ever. Might be good breeding stock. In fact, it's actually really pretty as well. Look. Oh, it's a brown horse with some beautiful white socks on. Yes, I know. Your nostrils are looking beautiful as well, huh? Anyways, let's get on you. And then I want some kind of timer. I don't know what kind of timer, really. Uh, we'll figure something out. But they'll, they'll, they'll run right here, like this. Are you ready for the race? It goes like this. Three, two, one. Wow, blistering fast. Whoo, I could barely keep up. I could barely hang on. This thing is speedy. That's it, really. And then we jump, run, and then we go into the stables where we already it's already full. It, it's already full, people. I I got so many horses to test now. Uh so yeah, you know, we're just gonna gonna test horses now, really. That's it. Yep. Okay, we need a spot for you. We already tested you. You are a good jumper, a four jumper. Uh, it doesn't feel like a 16 speeder, but pff, around 14, 13 speed, I, I guess. I should really install the, the mod that lets you see horse speed. I wonder if I can find that. Anyways, uh, this spot. You'll, you'll get this spot, horse. Uh, let's just, just get the other one out of there. Yeah, that's about right. Nope, nope. Get, get, get. Good. Nice. There's candidate number one. And he's a good one. He's a good one. He's really good. Where are you going? You're about to be tested too. Yep, that's right. You're next. Now this horse. This is this is a kind of fast one as well. I don't know if it's equally fast. Okay, let's take this in order actually. Is this a good jumper? Oh, this one's gonna be bad. Can it jump one block? It can jump one block in fact. Can it jump two? No. Maybe with a really good jump. No, this you it it can't jump. It can jump fences. That's about it. Can it jump a fence? I can jump a fence. It can jump a fence, people. <laughs> it's not completely useless. All right, let's let's see if it's got some speed though. It, it might it might have some speed though. So let's try that. Okay, three, two, one, go! Oh, look at this. Oh, it's not it. It's, it's not that fast either, huh? Well, you know what? I'll keep you out here until we build a glue factory. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Would never. I would. I would never do that. The, that's just allegations. I would never build a glue factory for these guys. No, we love them. <clears throat> yeah, let's move past that and uh, just test some horses. How about that? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Let's test some more horses. But before we go on testing, I'm gonna need a benchmark. So, first off, we're gonna check how fast am I, and how high can I jump. It wouldn't be useful having a horse slower than myself that can't jump as high. So, let's test my abilities as a player. Now, first we do the jump test. Can I jump one block? Of course we can. That is easy. Can we jump two blocks? Of course we have the elytra, so let's just do a little... Okay. Let's try that again. I need to double jump this properly. Yes, I can jump two blocks. Technically, I think I can jump three as well, but it's gonna be a bit more of a timing thing. No, I can't. I can't jump three. I can't. I think I can jump three, but two is my limit. Now, how fast am I? I'm gonna do this one time, just running fast as I can, like this, and then one time, doing elytra jumping like this. And we'll see which one is faster. I think the elytra jumping is gonna be faster. Maybe just a normal jumping one as well. All right, let's see how fast I can go across this speed test. All right. Three, two, one, go! 
Yeah, I mean, so far the horses have been faster. Nice. Okay, that's my time. Good. Hopefully it's on the screen what my time is. I'll probably do something about it. Okay, normal jumping time. Let's see if I just jump my way through. That, that is faster in Minecraft. So how fast am I with just jumping? Three. That is a lot faster. That is a lot faster. That is gonna that is actually gonna be a time hard to beat for the for the horses. Look at the time right there. Wow. Beautiful time. Next up is Elytra jumping. Because I don't think there's a horse that can beat Elytra flying like this. That's gonna be too fast. But how fast can we Elytra jump through this course? Let's see. Three, two, one. Decent? I don't know. Is that faster than just jumping? I, I'm not sure. But that was kind of fast. Anyways, with that, we have some base stats. I can jump two blocks and my speed is that much. Whatever time I got. That is my speed. So we're gonna want a horse better than that. The two jumping part, that is especially important. I want a five jumper, not a two jumper. So we're gonna have to find something pretty fast and pretty jumpy. I mean, this guy is not that fast. Well, he's kind of fast, but he can't jump. He can't jump at all. This guy? I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. So, now, back to horse testing. Three, two, one, go! Come on, horsey! Run like the wind! Oh, man, oh. Yours can you jump, buddy? Oh, he can jump one. Let's see, two. Okay. Can he jump a fence? Yay, he can jump a fence. Woo! Three, two, one, go! Oh, this one's fast. I can feel it. Oh, what a time. What a time. Woo! Woo, man. All right, this one's fast. This one's fast. Can you jump any? Yeah, you can do one. Can you do two? Can you do two? It cannot do two. This thing cannot jump a fence post. Two, three. Four! Man, this is a good jumper. Can you do five? Can you do five? Come on, five. No! Can't do five! But it's so slow. Go! Go, 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 horse! Come on, you got this! Woo! Go! Oh man, this is... That's... That's fast. That's fast. That is so fast. Holy... This thing is a mover. Come on, why is it so hard to find a decent jumper around the air? Uh, this is fast. Look at this. Go! That's decent. So let me be the first one to admit that things are getting slightly out of hand over here. The horse stable turns out doesn't fit enough horses apparently, so I've filled the entire space out here with horses as well. And not a fast one among them. Okay, some, but like not really and no five jumpers either this is all a pile of mediocrity yep in here we have some more examples of horses like this guy who's uh oh i by the way i did for full transparency i did install the mod that says how fast the horse is so I used that so we could actually have that stat on the sign. I didn't want to go and get all the times and put them on signs that would be annoying and take me forever. So this is a 10 speeder. This is a 10 speeder. This is a stinker. <laughs> Five speed, jump 2.4. This guy moves like a rock on sandpaper. He is almost stationary while moving. It's incredible. You see... We've got some 13 speeds, like a few, some 12. If ever there's a B-dubs type person watching this, uh, please don't pay attention to the ceiling. I swear it's all natural causes. Anyways, out here we have some more fine examples of like, let's see, 7 speed. Wow, fast. This guy is a 13 speed, he's quite fast. He's a little bit speedy, but then again, he can only jump like two and a half blocks, so... Not what I'm looking for! Not what I'm looking for! This guy, 12.7. I mean, it is decent. Can he jump any? No, not really. Like all of these horses, like, they're they're all mediocre. But we love them. I think I'm gonna choose a few friends from here and bring them home. I know one, I know I want the stinker. I want the stinker. I want the real, real, real stinker, because he's fun. 
I want this guy. I want this guy to live at home with me. Look at this guy. 5.2 speed. Have you ever experienced speed? Watch this. This is max speed. And the jump? Wow, it's non-existent. This is probably one of the worst horses I've ever seen in the game. And I love him so much. His name is Stinker. Because he's a little stinker. I'm gonna keep him. Riding him home will be a journey and a half. And speaking of journey and a half, I've got something fun that I want to do. You see, now that we have all of these horses here and a proper testing area, I would like to know, is Binky any good? Hmm. Hey, Binky! You ready for another adventure, my boy? I am not going to look at the stats of Binky, by the way, because I want to see with my own eyes how fast he is. And I want to do the time first and then the jump test, or rather the other way around. I want to do the jump test first and then get a time with Binky. Then we can compare times with the fastest horse I've measured so far. And then we'll check out his actual speed stats. It doesn't matter if you're a stinker, Binky. We love you. Look at those beautiful nostrils. We're going on an adventure. So, are you ready? It won't be as dangerous this time, I hope. Uh... Last time we went on an adventure, we went to the deep dark together. For those of you who are new to the channel, this horse, Binky, has been to the deep dark. And I don't mean to the cave entrance of the deep dark, no, I mean to the deep dark. I rode him all the way into the caves. And back, obviously, because otherwise he wouldn't be here, he would still be down there, he's here. So, I got him back safely. So he's our adventure horse, and as you can see, he's not super fast. Can you jump any? Not really. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, finding a faster horse than Binky won't be hard, unfortunately. Finding a horse as beautiful and uh, majestic as Binky will be impossible. Let's ride, Binky! And hopefully this is a short segment in the video where nothing exciting happens. I just ride Binky to our destination. Please pray for me, dear people. Good news, people! The trip was uneventful. But agonizingly slow. I probably should mention that this place isn't exactly close to Bass Town. It is a bit of a trek and it took me about six minutes to do it with Binky. That is definitely on the slow side of things. It takes me about a half a minute maybe to get back with Elytra. But we shouldn't compare horses to airplanes so on the slow side but overall it went pretty smoothly. Now Binky is the time to see what a majestic beast you are. Spoiler alert, probably not that majestic. Not the best horse I've got here, probably. He's better than Stinker though. Oh boy, is he faster than Stinker. Yep. So Binky takes on the dreaded jump test. Now let's see what you can do, boy. You can jump one block, I don't even... Yeah. Two blocks should be easy for Binky as well. But here's the thing. <laughs> Can you do three blocks? I am unsure. He can! He can! He can barely do three blocks, so I'm gonna put you at a three block jump. That is pretty decent. Now, let's test your speed on the dangerous speed test. I hope you're ready for this, because we're gonna run like the wind. Okay? Do me proud, Binky. So, in three, two, one. Well, that's the time. That's the time, people. Okay, so compared to Stinker over there, he's a real speed demon. But, like, compared to, to like, one of the faster horses that did in, like, two seconds, he's a bit slow, uh, admittedly. If you want to know exactly how slow compared to the faster ones, uh, this slow. You'll see the time up on screen somewhere. Wow, that's a difference, huh? So, not the fastest, not the best jumper, but the most beautiful. Isn't that right, Binky? That's right. Oh, no, I have to ride him back again. Oh. So, I'm going to bring five horses home, and those are going to be my current, until I bother to breed up some better horses, adventure horses. I am not gonna name all of them, but if you want to give some horses a name, the best way to do that is to put 
a name suggestion in the comment section down below. Or, if you're so inclined, you're more than welcome to join Basti's Corner of the Interwebs, my Discord server for this channel. So, if you want some fun discussions about what we do in this channel, just want to say hi to me, or have a chat with some of the other lovely viewers, then you're free to join. The link will be in the description down below. So, I shall now drag Stinker and Binky back home, which is gonna take a while, and I'll see you there. Yeah, see you there. In, like, oh, half an hour probably. Man, the horses are home. And Binky is in his right place. Stinker over here is stinking up the place. Nah, no, you'll smell good. You're just a little stinker. Just a little, little stinker. This guy is pretty fast and he can jump pretty good, so I think this will be my main adventure horse. So if you have a good name for him, I would appreciate that greatly. I was thinking Artreo after Bastion's horse in The NeverEnding Story, or something like that. But I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to give him a name. Otherwise, it'll just be Artreo. This guy, he's really fast, but he's not a good jumper, so... I don't know what to do with him. If we're gonna do some like horse racing, straight line racing, he's really good. And also the cat. If you have a good name for the cat, please leave that as a comment as well. Because this guy needs a name. Oh, look at all these friends, huh? Hi, Rinswin. I haven't said hi to you in a while. How you doing? So nice. It's getting life back together to Bass Town, which is something we need. We also need to do some decorating over here and maybe build out the roads and such, but maybe that's for next episode. But for now, I promise as well that I would give you the stats for Binky, and Binky's stats is... Drum roll, please! He is a... 9.2 speed. And that is actually not that bad. I thought you were slower. I'm sorry, Binky. You're actually not super slow. He's a 9-speeder. This one is a 5-speeder. I think you are 11 or 12. I think 12. But you can jump 4.1. And this guy is a 13-speed with a jump of 2.1, I think. So this guy is going to be the overall best horse. He can't jump the full 5 that I hoped for. But, I mean, yeah, he can jump high enough. I mean, the difference in time to get these horses back here. So, Binky took around 6 minutes to get back home. The stinker over here took a full 10 minutes. That was grueling and annoying and not very fun at all because he can't jump and he also is not fast. This adventure horse here, on the other hand, took me, I think it was 3 minutes to get back home. So, you know, half of Binky which is pretty insane, but that's mostly because of the jump. He jumps so good, you could just jump over trees. It's fantastic, which is why he's going to be my main adventure horse. And finally, we have this guy. And I think he took around three minutes as well. He is a bit faster than the adventure horse, but he doesn't jump that well, so it evened out pretty nicely, actually. I didn't time him super well. I timed the other ones because I thought it would be fun seeing what that speed and jump difference did on a longer trek and my lord, we can save minutes. We can save actual minutes riding one of the faster horses. So I think that's a pretty good plan. It might be worth investing into an even faster and higher jumping horse at some point and I for sure will. But we are now nearing the end of this episode, and we've got something still left to do. That is, to give one of these horses its rightful name. That's right, by the power given to me by the Ocean Goat, and the viewers, and myself mostly, honestly, I hereby give you the name Stinker. Wow. <laughs> I would say live up to that name, but it won't be that hard. And you're already doing it pretty well, so, you know, just keep being you, stinker. <laughs> yes, you probably won't see much writing time, but man, oh man, am I glad I got you. Might ride around the city sometime if we need to take it slow. You know, sometimes you just want to get there. No need to rush, and that's when stinker is just... Not in a rush. Wow. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this episode. 
I know it's been a bit different than what I usually do because, well, well, we did a bit of building. Not on camera, though. I did a bit of mining off camera. I did the meme, guys. I did the meme. Am I cool now? Am I, am I hip? Am I down with the kids? No cap, for real, for real, on God, on God. Is, is that what you say, young people in the audience? Am I cool now? Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment in the comment section down below what you want me to name these animals, especially this cat right here, my adventure horse, and this speed demon over here. And I will see you next time. But until then, I wish you all to have a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. And until I see you next, bye. bye.